being host comes with so much power. Like, I act all relatable and chill on camera, but I have definitely let the power go to my pretty little head. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you recording right now? Well, why don't you announce it first, idiot? <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to BSU Tonight, Ball State's only late night TV show. I'm your humble host, Cassidy Esch. We have a very exciting episode tonight because our competent freshman members of the club are finally ready to run the show by themselves. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> that was weird. Um, anyway, uh, we have a really great episode for you guys tonight because <laughs> what is going on? What, why is it censoring everything? Shit. Hey! Hey! Eyes up here, buddy. <laughs> Censoring everything, except when I say shit. <laughs> That's kind of ironic. Oh, uh, right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is a disaster. Can we, can we get, go, go, go. Jingle. Get off the stage. The damn flowers are fine. <sighs> We are live, people. This isn't a rehearsal. You guys need to check your emails. <laughs> well, while I try to deal with our set falling apart, let's. Welcome to the season 21 premiere of BSU Tonight. I'm your brand new host, Cassidy Esch. Woo! We're so happy you're here with us and ready to witness an amazing season. Unfortunately, we still don't have an audience, but I believe that if we all do our part by wearing a mask, social distancing, and getting vaccinated, we will see your lovely faces back in the studio before you know it. Ball State, please let us have people back in here soon. Colbert gets an audience. Plus, my therapist says if I don't get enough attention and praise, my body will literally start to shut down. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess since I'm your new host, I should tell you a little about myself. To start off, I'm a Pisces, an elementary education major, and a self-proclaimed bimbo, which means the only thing thicker than my skull is my ass. Now, this is my sophomore year here at BSU, and it might surprise you to hear that I'm only 19 years old. That means I can't drink or smoke here in the U.S., but I can walk into a CVS and buy all the Mucin XD I want from behind the counter. So I guess that's worth something. I'm actually the first host of BSU tonight to be younger than the show itself as of my hosting. That's right, you suckers were here making these while I was chilling in the womb in 2001, the year that nothing substantial or important to history happened whatsoever. Or so I'm told. I don't know, I wasn't there. But anyways, that's enough about me. Let's move on to the news. Rumor has it that a reboot of Glee is in the works at Fox, and auditions may open up next year. So to everyone that really felt like they connected with Rachel Berry as a character, there's an open call to stay as far away from me and my loved ones as possible. Snapchat has officially had their memories feature for five years now, which is nice because it gives us a chance to look back daily at the time in our lives when we willingly got up at 6 a.m. to work out before a seven-hour school day and had five hours of homework and clubs afterwards and still saw our 20 friends every weekend. And we can see how much better our lives are now that we need iced coffee, nicotine, and alcohol to get through one week of 50-minute classes. There's a campus job fair coming up for anyone who got a little too excited with their summer spending and is now living off of SpaghettiOs and black coffee. If you show up, you might see me lurking because every day I get closer to canceling my phone plan just so I can go to the Big Time Rush reunion concert. And this seems like a healthier way to deal with the problem. Kylie Jenner announced last week that she's pregnant for the second time, and her oldest, Stormy, must be thundering with excitement about being a big sister. <laughs> Sorry. Kylie isn't taking name suggestions just yet, but I've DM'd her on Instagram 32 times with my ideas that she for some reason doesn't seem to want. My top three are Rainy, Celsius with a Q, 
Where does the cue go? You decide. And my personal favorite, Katrina. Finally, in case you weren't aware of the situation, there has been an awful tragedy here on our campus. The student center has new water cups. Instead of letting us fill the normal cups with water and get that for free like last year, there are now designated water cups that are only slightly larger than a Dixie cup and don't come with a lid or straw. And they still cost 10 cents. So we get to carry a flimsy plastic cup with no lid to a sticky booth, spilling it the whole way there and still get charged for it. I am sick and tired of this school, who we love dearly and beg to keep letting us use their filming equipment and studio space, not having their priorities straight. It's like, what should you care about more? Building a fancy new residence hall for freshman business majors or what the people actually want? Water cups with lids. If you agree, visit my Instagram page at BiggerWaterCupsNowBSU and sign our petition to show Ball State that us loyal students will no longer take this subpar treatment. Anyways, let's cut to our next segment before I disappear under mysterious circumstances followed by Charlie Cardinal shaped footprints. He's coming. Hi, it's me, Uncle John, and welcome to Uncle John's Jingle Jamboree. Do you like Christmas Carol? You're like, but why is that only in Christmas? Well, Uncle John's got the thing just for you. Come on! It's the ninth month of the year, and you know what that means. It's September! That means Uncle John's Christmas in September is just starting. So see this building behind me? Uh, I, can't, I can't pay to afford the lights on anymore, but what I do have is three to four employees who paid minimum wage that will sing at any event that you desire. We have Christmas carols. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hanukkah songs. It's parties! I guess the change in my pocket wasn't enough. I'm like, F you! Any song? Anywhere. You can call us and have us go to someone's house you hate and sing a song that they hate as many times as you want. As long as you got the cash, Jen Jones got the jingles! I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh no! We will even come to the taping. I miss the oh, soul, oh, honey. Oh, honey. Straight honey. from the gold, from the gold. Shut up, the soul, Kanye. The soul, Kanye. The rose, Kanye. Kanye West. I miss Kanye West. taping. Go, go, go. What, what the hell? We usually take a tip. Bye. Kanye. Any song, anywhere, just ask our happy customers. Uncle Jones' jingle jangle ears really came through when they sang, teach me how to dougie at my, my grandson's bar mitzvah, slash, the euthanization of my dear horse, Patricia. I miss you every day, Patricia. Teach me how to talk. Teach me how to Okay, um, give. Thank you. Uncle John came to my house for my 16th birthday party bash. When my parents found the stash of beer that I had, I thought the night was over. Boy, was I wrong. When Uncle John's jingler started singing All Stars Smash Mouth, the party was more lit than ever before. Thanks, Uncle John. When the Duke of Edinburgh died, we thought we had it all planned out until the Wiggles canceled last minute. Fruit Salad was his favorite song. But Uncle John's jingleers sang the entire Wiggles discography. I know he was looking up at us smiling. Uncle John's Christmas in September, Jingle Jamboree, Summer Sale, doesn't last forever. Call now and you'll be able to get two songs for 99 each. No, might as well do 10 songs. I'm no 15. This is not the amount of fingers I have. 15 songs for 9.99 each. Well, you know what they say down here at John's Jamboree. It's September.
Welcome back to BSU tonight. Um, this evening we have an amazing guest for you, a very good friend of mine and a business owner here on Ball State's campus. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Maya Garcia from Maya Makes Jewelry. Woo! Welcome, welcome Maya. Okay, so, okay, I guess we can start off with you giving a little introduction about who you are and what you do and why we should support your business. Uh, why you should support my business is because I really like money. Um, my name is <laughs> Maya, uh, I'm a psychology major here at Ball State. Um, I'm a sophomore and yeah, I just make jewelry and I like when people buy it. Amazing. Okay, so I have a few questions for you to start us off here. So, let's see. Everybody always asks about your inspiration in doing things. So, I want to know if you were one of those girls in sixth grade that made the rubber band bracelets. I don't know if that was a thing at every school, but like, you know, the big tens of like the... So, I want to know if you were and what, how did that shape you if you were? So, at my school, we actually weren't allowed to have those rubber bands because the kids like to like fling them at each oh other God. when we were supposed to be learning. That is so, so exciting. We weren't allowed to have those, but we did have like the friendship bracelets made out of like thread. I got really good at making those. I can put like pumpkin designs in them and everything. Like Amazing. Crazy. So there's there's strong roots planted here as well. Oh I'm yeah, hearing. of course. Yes, of most course. definitely. Okay, so for everyone, especially college students, and I'm assuming especially business owners, life gets very frustrating at times. Is there anything that you've gone through in running your business that made you really want to quit, but you stuck it out? <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of the assembling, I'm like, man, because <laughs> it takes so long sometimes to make. Like, you know, getting the money is nice and seeing people wearing it around is awesome, but sometimes I'm sitting there and I'm making it. I'm like, what if I just had an, like, an assistant <laughs> who did this part for me? <laughs> Operation Get My Own Assistant needs to be rolling right now. <laughs> I've heard you talk about, um, an exp you said you were at a craft fair, I think, and um, what? tell us about what happened there, a traumatic experience possibly. So it was my like second or third craft fair, I think, that I'd ever done. And if you don't know what a craft fair is, it's just like you sell whatever you make and a lot of people come and they visit all the booths and you know see whatever you want. Well, it was like my second or third one, so I hadn't really figured my display out yet. Um, and it was a really windy day, uh -oh. and I was <laughs> setting up, promising. and right as I was, like, setting up, all my jewelry was, like, flying away, and I was, like, running after trying to get it, and everyone who was there was like, uh-huh, yeah, I knew that would happen. Like, they weren't even helping me, because they all had done them so many times before. They were just like, oh, yeah, should have thought of that one. I so was like, I, okay, <laughs> What I'm we're sorry. hearing is crafters are evil, <laughs> sort of like a frantic... Definitely a main character situation to be running through the wind chasing after small objects. Felt like it, man. I was like, only me would this happen to. Main character moment, but also very upsetting. It was, and everyone was watching, and they were just like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, can you guys help me? Like, they were just like, well, you should have thought Brutal. of that. There was like old ladies knitting quilts, like. Mm -hmm. Literally, they were like, yeah. <laughs> so sad. Okay. Um. Whenever you inevitably create your girl boss empire with your business i'm wanting to know can i count on a corner office is that something that we can like i am an elementary education major but like i'm feeling like you know you could squeeze me in we'll talk about it i'm a psychology major so <laughs> <laughs> but you've got an empire going here so maybe like earrings with like you're a therapist on the side <laughs> You know what I'm saying? In the middle of a therapy okay. session, I'm like, anyways, you sound kind of sad, and I know something really good that could help with you being sad, and it's this earring that I created, but you have to pay for it, of course. Yeah, but, of um, course. Yeah. Our insurance does not cover this. You do have to pay for yes, this earring Yes, you do right have to here. pay for the earrings, and insurance covers the therapy only. Yeah. People <laughs> get it misconstrued. But, like, you um, know, like a YouTube video where they have, like, an ad reel in the middle? That'll be me when I'm a therapist. <laughs> with the earrings, you have to stop after 30 minutes for a five-minute ad break, and then you can keep going with the therapy session. And now a talk from our sponsor, and I'm like, Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was really traumatic for you when like your dog got run over by a car, but anyway, there's such cute puppies on these earrings. Does that make you feel better? Like, speaking of dogs, yours got hit by a car. I mine are on my ears if you like to buy some. Yes. Um, just a suggestion. Just, just a suggestion. A, you know, just a suggestion. Okay. Um so before I give you free reign to promo your things, do you have any I don't know, 
say thinly veiled and specific threats for people who don't take one of your business cards when they leave? Business cards. Yeah, so <laughs> I did bring my business cards with me for no particular reason. Um, I don't know why they're here. I don't That's know either. Crazy. It's kind of crazy that they just appeared in my hands as I was walking onto the set. Um, however, if you do not take one when you leave, I will be posting my Venmo online for you to pay for my therapy sessions because it'll make me very, very sad. My will be extremely upset if you guys are hearing this. So um, just, you know, you know, you don't have to, but. <laughs> You'd anyway. be a bad person if you didn't. <laughs> So you have an upcoming Halloween drop mm -hmm. that I've heard about. Would you like to tell us what's going on with that? Details, where they can find you on social media, where they can find you to buy your things. Okay, so I will be posting my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Facebook is where I'll be posting all of the jewelry. Um, my Instagram is at Maya Makes Jewelry. My name is kind of weird to spell. You can figure it out, I'm sure. <laughs> Just makes Maya jewelry. Maya with an I somewhere. Yeah, Maya with an I somewhere. You'll figure out where the I is. It's up to you to Surprise. decide where you put that. <laughs> um, and then my Facebook and Instagram. My Instagram already has all the details. Uh, my Instagram is also on my business card. Um, so basically what it is is just a Halloween drop. I have made a bunch of fall themed, Halloween dream themed, like spooky themed earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. And I'm selling them all from October 1st to October 3rd starting at midnight on October 1st. So, so we got a whole, if you can read that, Maya makes jewelry everywhere. She takes Venmo payments for therapy sessions. I do. I take Venmo. I take PayPal. I take card. I take cash. I have a little card reader, actually. And I take um, the bartering system. No, I don't. That was a joke. <laughs> um, no bartering. No bartering. Definitely not. Um, but yeah, it's Except just a bunch of... Except for we're getting free earrings because we let you come on here. <laughs> I don't remember talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about enough for us today. Um... Thank you so much for coming, Maya, and we're going to cut to a package. sucks detective i just knew one of my employees was gonna end up dead well we don't know who was murdered there there is no body just that very convincing imprint on the floor but i mean that is surely what happened there's gonna be so much paperwork um and don't call me shirley am i right <laughs> oh what an idiot she got the airplane joke wrong. Oh my god, give me that. This is how you do it. You got your fingerprints all over the knife! I could have solved this mystery by now if you wouldn't have touched it! Now I have to scan all over the kitchen to find more fingerprints. Hello? Y'all were supposed to be open hours ago. I want sesame chicken and 18 egg rolls. All this evidence now useless! Aw, no, 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 no more paperwork! I found a fingerprint. of one Anthony Van Kirby. He was the victim of this crime. And he was being dragged out when his fingerprint got in his blood. Oh, I knew it. I knew Van Kirby was gonna get himself killed one of these days. I did it. I solved the case. We still don't know who the murderer is. Dang it. What did the, what, no! Van Kirby, you're supposed to be dead. Why? What's going on? This blood is yours from when you were murdered. No, this is no, this is sweet and sour sauce. I spilled a little bit last night. I, I didn't do anything about it. That was my fault. Uh, 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 oh, it's hot. I did it. I saw.
solved the case. Hooray! Can I have 18 egg rolls, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome back! So, here at BSU Tonight, there's nothing we love more than a good game show. As a matter of fact, we've tried to pitch like a million to WIPB, but then they're always like, good bit gang, but don't follow up on our emails. Exactly. But I think we finally have the right personality to launch us onto daytime television. After surveying the local talent, we found a real treat for you guys. Please welcome aspiring game show host, Spaz Freely. Oh, ow! Welcome, welcome, ow. welcome! Like she said, my name is Spaz Freely! Cassidy and CJ, come on down! It's time to play Cheesecake or You Sofa! The rules are simple. I will be showing you an image. First one to buzz in with the correct answer gets a point for the round. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, okay. First image. Cheesecake or You Sofa. Um, is it a cheesecake? Um, normally I have note cards, but it seems I've lost them. So the answer for now is mayhaps. Next image. Cheesecake or you sofa. I, I see something that looks like a drizzle, so maybe cheesecake? Incorrect. This what? is a spot on the sofa with blueberry cobbler on it. The sofa, brand new. Good try though. Next image. Okay. Cheesecake or you sofa. Okay, well now you're just giving it to us. That's obviously a you sofa. Wrong. This is technically a love seat. What's the difference? Based on my experience, your chances of contracting an STD! Uh, okay, no, 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 how are we supposed to tell the difference? All of these pictures look like, like, cutscenes from a haunted house horror video game. All right, I gotta come clean. All of this, this is the rough draft! I have a better version at home, but, uh, I forgot it. Uh, hear me out, do you think I could just, like, go home and get that version and then we can just redo this whole thing? Um, you know what? Sure. We all make mistakes. Yes. I will be right back! We... We're not really gonna redo that whole thing, are we? Absolutely not. Okay. We aren't getting paid and we only have the studio for two hours. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. While we baby-proof all the AJ doors, please enjoy our next package. It's me, your Uncle Dom. Guess what? I'm on your calendar, baby. I'm selling Uncle Dom limited edition calendars for only $39. What a job. Buy them now, because they never go on sale. And I am impatient. Here you're now and get an exclusive Uncle Dom viral, because he loves you. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to episode one of season 21 of BSU Tonight. Thank you so much to Maya Makes Jewelry, to CJ, and to Spaz Freely for coming on tonight. And we will see you next week. Bye! Bye! Bye.